Uh, by the way, in the end of the video, I would tell you the biggest liability all the people say it's the biggest asset. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm your transformational coach. Employ your money. How does it come? How can you employ your money? According to this book, what I already said before, to the second chapter actually, from Rich Dad and Poor Dad, from Robert T. Kiyosaki, you can see one thing, and this is rich invest in assets and try to minimize liabilities rich invest in assets and try to minimize liabilities so first of all uh, what kind of liabilities can you have this is kind of important to actually know because so many middle class people invest in liabilities when I said this is actually their asset. And how can you actually switch the liability to an asset? This is actually also possible. So let's just jump in and let's start. Okay, uh, first of all, does the middle class have what the poor not have? They have an um, income statement and a balance statement. An income statement is simply where you are with your income. It means income is just coming from your employer, from the place you work, and you are comparing directly with your expenses. But the middle class also have, as the rich have, balance sheet which which has liabilities and assets and it's a buy it's a balance sheet you put liabilities the thing is what the rich have and the middle class don't have they have more assets and liabilities first of all let's get into the middle state what are those expensive? What are those liabilities? Here at this book, I just want to read it out. We have expenses like taxes, rent, found, transportation, and clothes. These are normal expenses. And on the other hand, we have expenses which are also mortgage payment, car payment, credit card payment, and school loan payment. This is actually this expensive with the middle class half. And this also turned to liabilities for our mortgage, car loan, credit card debt, and school loan. School or loan. It means these things are liabilities. What does the rich now have? They have the, lab, the income they have comes from rental income, dividends, interest, and royalties. The expenses are just the taxes which everyone has to pay in a mortgage payment. Mortgage payment, yeah. This is actually these two expensive debts the rich have. And yeah. And when it comes to the balance sheet, the liabilities are just a mortgage. So it comes the consumer loans and the credit cards. The consumer loans comes just when you're an entrepreneur, actually. And uh, yeah, then you have to pay actually the loans for your own uh, employees. And now we have the assets. The assets can be real estate, which is a very nice thing. And stocks, bonds, notes, intellectual property. It means intellectual property. It can be something like songs from someone. You buy just a property for the song or something like that, which I actually can bring you money in the long term. So, what is actually asset and liability? Building really, 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 really simple. 
really the kindergarten level is as the saying is asset is giving your money into your pocket liabilities is taken from your pocket that is if you know just this one thing then everything you do you can just analyze okay that's the thing what I buy can bring the money back in my pocket in the long term or not and actually in the assets you have also to make assets in short term middle term and long term to, uh, term so short term maybe like few months middle term maybe a few years and long term maybe like 10 years so you have also have assets in all the three parts and the thing is like many people put so many money into real estate if you buy real estate you can yeah like Robert T. Kiyosaki says he stays there seven years and then he, he leaves it the same the thing is with stocks and shares when he puts stocks he just made from one year and then takes a takes a profit and go to another one to invest to the next one you have to think your money which you have is not the money you you have to invest in stuff but first of all you have to invest in assets and your money are your employees which are working for you when you got the return investment then you can buy something you want to have some luxury stuff or you can invest it further so in this is if you have money you have to learn how to keep your money but it don't mean that you have to keep your money on your bank account or uh, under your in your safe somewhere like at house something like that it doesn't mean that it means you have to invest the money properly because if you just keep it you know you have the inflation rate which is every every day and um, every year but by two percent that means within 10 years uh, 20 percent less so means within 20 years it will be 40 percent less close to 50 percent so your money you have to increase it by yourself by actually buying assets the biggest liability it's actually your own house and your own car just realize how many money you have to spend for the taxes and everything for your car and also the, the same thing for, for your own house but how you can actually turn your own house in a asset you can say okay we have a really big house so we will live in this part and in other part we will keep someone to rent and if you rent it's a rent your house then you can say okay so this liability is turned to an asset it's the same thing you can do with a car especially when you are an entrepreneur you can put the sales down of the car and you can um, make it as a profit for your own company which is a long-term really good thing to buy actually a new car in a few years time and this is the thing you can do so as, as, so invest in assets as fast as you can and don't spend money on things you actually don't really want to have try to concentrate more on things you actually which are important rather than things that are urgent if you like this content please hit the like button if you want to see more please subscribe and hit the notification bell I really appreciate it I upload every single day so keep tuning in and do not lie to yourself. Pursue your passion now.